You asked for Apollo content and it's finally here. I want to answer a question you guys have had about why the Apollo 8 mission's trajectory was a figure 8 rather than a loop. There are some fun orbital mechanics to consider, so it's time to enable the science side of our brains on the next Vintage Retrospect. Hello, I'm your host Chad and welcome to the Vintage Space series that keeps on giving. I am back after a small hiatus, and so I do apologize for not getting content out to you as often as I have. So before I begin, we must understand the basic motions of planetary bodies and rotations. The moon's day is around 28 Earth days, and it is tidally locked to Earth as it revolves around the Earth. The Saturn V rocket launches in the direction of the Earth's rotation to take advantage of its rotational Earth effect. Now the rocket doesn't simply point and shoot itself to where the moon is visible. It must create a separate translunar injection burn, pointing the ship where the moon should be in a certain point in time. But now this is where things get bonkers. Naturally, people think the spacecraft should enter the moon's sphere of influence from behind, as I am showing here. Now let me tell you why this is a bad idea. First off, orbital mechanics dictate that a change in velocity in a retrograde direction will slow the craft down in relation to the Earth's gravitational pull. If you burn prograde in this direction, you will increase your orbit around the Earth until escape velocity. So when we enter the moon from behind, the gravity assist from the moon will actually pull prograde or forward at a higher velocity than a retrograde burn. This is kind of bad for fuel efficiency and, of course, raising its Earth orbit. And also escaping the moon altogether, creating a bad day for the Apollo astronauts. Creating a bad day for the Apollo astronauts was not on the itinerary for the Apollo team, so they had to make sure the Apollo 8 crew would not get stuck in outer space. So what if we came around the front of the moon and looped it around the back side? Look at the difference in velocity direction of the gravitational assist. It pulls backwards or retrograde towards the moon, which gives that natural pull the spacecraft needs to save on fuel and perform its moon capture burn. Interestingly, this gives off the figure eight look when the trajectory finishes off with a natural free return to Earth. A free return traje trajectory just simply means no burn would be required to break orbit from the moon and to enter the Earth's atmosphere for the return home. I really hope this clears up any questions you've had about the figure eight trajectory around the moon. If you would like to read further on the subject, I do highly recommend this official NASA report that goes a bit deep on the mathematics and logic behind this navigational course. So make sure to also subscribe and like this video so that people who got lost in space will wish they had watched my video before they decided not to use the figure eight trajectory. I am your host, Chad, and I will see you up on the launch pad.